Thank you for picking up Elite Video Evolution through my affiliate link. I really think you guys are going to enjoy this training series, even though it may be a little more geared towards marketers like myself that are developing products for other marketers. Do not think for a moment that those things are the only stuff that these training videos apply to. You can certainly gear all this towards being an Amazon affiliate. And trust me when I tell you that there are not piles of other Amazon affiliates out there using these types of tactics. So if you dedicate yourself to this cause and learn this material and put it into action, you will see some really amazing results from this. Now the purpose of this bonus training video that I wanted to create for you is to try to help guide you through the training that you have available for you here so you can apply that as an Amazon affiliate. Now, as you can see in the main Elite Video Evolution course there are nine video modules here. I would really recommend to go through them one at a time in their correct order. However, do not actually create a video until you have gone through all of the modules because there are a lot of pieces to this whole puzzle that are not necessarily covered in one single video. So you kind of need to learn all of them to really be able to figure out exactly what you will want to do with your video. I would still recommend to work through the little practice lessons that they kind of give you as you progress. Like for example in module one your pre-video essentials they teach you how to research your market and profile your customers certainly go through those exercises and do that type of stuff for your market while you're going through these videos. But again, wait until you're completely finished before you actually create your first video. Now creating your video is another point that I wanted to strike on before I actually get into this. There are certainly a lot of ways that you could go about creating a video. You have simple things like where you are sharing your screen, like what I'm doing with you now. You get to see the screen, it gets recorded, and you talk along with it. You can do those types of videos. They can be created with a variety of different types of software. You can even do those for free with Google Hangouts, for example. You don't need the extra software to actually record that type of video. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to be investing a lot of money into this, that can be a really easy way to go. Check out the Google Hangout traffic module and explore using that method to simply share your screen while you talk along with your video. Now other things that you could do would be recording yourself on the video where the camera is pointed at you and you're simply talking to the camera. This can be really, really effective for Amazon affiliates because you could be using the product that you are reviewing. Now obviously going for some really expensive products might make it a little difficult to do that but try it out with some reasonably reasonably priced products first and then see how it works out for you and see if it's worth going into the more expensive products. There are not a lot of Amazon affiliates that are doing things like that where they actually buy the product and use it and try it out and review it live for people on a video. That type of stuff really stands out from the crowd and can help you refer an enormous amount of affiliate sales. 
Now there are also other types of video editing software that you could use where you take your screen recordings or the recordings of yourself and do various things to them to make them even more professional looking like green screening for example. But then you also have things like Explainio, where you can make your own video presentation and talk along with it. Those types of videos can also be really, really effective. So it really kind of just depends on what your budget may be, whether you have some of this software already or not, and also what your personal preferences may be as far as what you're comfortable with, with talking along with the videos or recording yourself on camera. However, do not sell yourself short. I guarantee you that whatever you feel like your level, level of comfortability is with being on video or talking on a video, you are capable of a lot more than that. A lot of it is really just mental. And that's actually uh, something that Module 7 here addresses on, something that I really like. It can help to get you in the right mindset to be able to do these videos. You don't have to think you're the most amazing video creator or speaker in the world, but while you're there in the moment making that video, all you need to do is simply believe it for that moment and get through it and make it happen. And then it's recorded forever and you don't have to worry about it after that point. It's really not as difficult as it may seem and practice honestly can help quite a bit with raising that level of comfort. So I would strongly encourage you to try to go above and beyond what you really feel like you may be capable of doing because you are capable of doing it. I can tell you that from personal experience. If you had asked me five years ago whether I would be talking on videos and doing things like running live webinars, I would have told you there was not a chance. So if I can do it, trust me, you can too. So I want to dive into some of these modules for you here just to give you some basic information on what each of them is about, how you can apply it as an Amazon affiliate, and this will also help you to figure out if maybe certain modules here just aren't right for you, and you might just be able to skip them entirely to help save some time. I'm going to jump into module one here. Now just to point out, each of these modules is fairly lengthy. There are some shorter ones that are more like 15 or 20 minutes, but a decent number of them are really more around the 45 minute to an hour neighborhood. So you're not necessarily going to be, go th be able to go through all this training in one fell swoop. However, whenever you are ready to sit down and take a little bit of time to do this, just make sure you maybe have an hour or so to devote to each of these modules to really be able to go through it and absorb all of the information because you certainly don't want to have to rush through it all. Now, the modules themselves, I really like how it's all set up. You have your main video and then you have some downloads that go along with it. Certain modules might even have multiple videos and multiple sections of downloads, so be sure to thoroughly check each of these nine pages to make sure you are getting everything out of this course that it has to offer. There are some resources here that are a little bit buried. Now with that said, you have the video itself that you can watch here on the website. You can also download the video or you can download a PDF ebook of the slides from the video or you can download audio from the video. 
This allows you to learn however it works best for you. If you don't want to have to sit there and go through the video and you just want the main points, check out the PDF slides. If you want to be able to put this stuff on your iPod and listen to it on your way to work, download the MP3 audio. Now module one itself here, this is pre-video essentials. This is where I would recommend to start, obviously being the beginning of the training program, but it really makes sense from the overall perspective of this course in that this particular lesson is going to be the research that essentially forms the backbone of the work that you're going to do in the other parts of this training series. Just like I recommend for people to thoroughly research an Amazon niche and their keywords and product choices before proceeding with building an Amazon website, the same type of thing applies when you are creating a video. You need to know who your target market is. You need to know not only what they're looking for, but maybe what their problems are, what their fears are, what pains they have. Touching on those types of things gets you into more of the psychology of selling, something that is really, really emphasized upon throughout this training series. And I really like that because it's important when it comes to selling pretty much anything you can sell things very directly, and you will have success that way. However, if you can put a little bit of psychology along with or behind that direct selling method, you can really see some much more impressive results. And these are the things that a lot of the professional internet marketers will be doing, the people that are developing products for other marketers, when you're seeing all these sales pages, these are the tactics that are going into them, and you guys can apply the same type of stuff to being an Amazon affiliate. The proof in that pudding really comes from the fact that the guy that's teaching you all of this, Ryan Phillips, he's not your product development type of marketer. He comes from an affiliate marketing background where he was promoting things in like the health and weight loss niche. So this type of training is really more geared towards affiliate marketers than it is towards product developers. Even though I kind of feel like the course itself seems to be a little more geared towards the product developers here. The training itself, though, is something that stems from affiliate marketing. So you can trust that these tactics are going to work. So in this first module here, go through the video and work along with it when it tells you to research different aspects of your customers. And then it also gives you some real life examples on how to go about finding some of this information if you're not quite sure how to do that. So that is really, really valuable in this training as well. So once you have your research done and you know what your market is and you know who your target ideal customer is, you can then proceed on through the rest of the training with that knowledge behind you and this will really make for much, much better videos. Now another point to this is this training isn't only limited to videos. You can use the same type of research and the same type of marketing tactics that are discussed in these modules with your content writing as well. If you have a product review page for something on Amazon, you can not just sell the product itself, but you can sell the benefits of that product. And this training will really teach you how to do that. Now module number two, Killer VSL Scripts. This is a video sales letter script. 
this is going to teach you the basics of essentially writing what you will end up saying in your video. Now, this video module in particular is really more geared towards the product developers, the people that are actually wanting to sell something that they have created themselves. However, you can still apply almost all of the tactics in this module towards affiliate marketing for Amazon. You're not selling the product yourself, but you can still pre-sell a product on your own website or on YouTube before you pass a person along to Amazon and you will see considerably better conversion rates as a result of doing stuff like this. So while this module may not directly apply to you in terms of exactly the uh, process that it's teaching, I still consider it to be very, very important information for you to learn because it's going to help you to figure out what you need to be saying in your videos to actually convince people to buy stuff. Now, another reason why I said not to go ahead and create the video, you might get to this point after module number two and think, okay, I'm ready to create my video now. But there are still a lot more important points to be discussed before you actually come up with something finalized. Module number three here is good proof of that. This one involves video engagement, influence, and persuasion. This is very heavy into the psychology of selling. Learn to persuade people to buy the things that you want them to buy. And also how to keep people engaged with your video presentations. If you have the most spectacular 10 minute presentation in the world on video and the first 30 seconds or so of it is kind of slow and boring, the other nine minutes or so really might not matter because people may never get to that point in your video. So this module is going to teach you how to focus on getting people through your entire video from the very, very beginning through each part that you want to discuss with people all the way to the end of your video. So they're still there and present and engaged with you when it comes time to proceed on to completing the sale. Now module number four, this is on recording audio. This is a pretty short module. It's only 10 minutes long, but this module is really packed with some very, very valuable information. I honestly wish that when I had begun creating my own videos and running webinars and things like that, I wish I had had this 10 minute video module right here on recording audio. It would have saved me a lot of headache and it would have saved me a lot of money too from buying the wrong products that I needed. So not only will this teach you about recording audio itself, but it's going to talk to you about software and hardware that you need. And it'll talk about both uh, free and paid options for your software, paid options, things like ScreenFlow and Camtasia, whether you're on Mac or Windows, and uh, Audacity is a free option that they mention to you in here. It also talks to you about hardware options for using a microphone. This was something really big for me early on, trying to figure out exactly what I should be using as far as a microphone went. Most computers have a built-in microphone these days. With the webcam, you probably have a monitor that has a webcam and a microphone built into it. That can be used, but it's going to end up really low quality audio compared with other options that are out there. You can go 
on a budget option and get a USB headset, something like from your local Best Buy store for about $50 or so. These options are a step above your monitor microphone, for example. However, they're not really that great with clarity and reducing background noise and things like that. So I would really recommend if you are serious about creating videos to invest in a better microphone from the get-go because it will make a world of difference in the in quality. Your, your videos are going to sound much, much more professional. People can hear you clearly and they don't hear all this extra background noise going on. So they have a recommendation in this video, which is the Blue Yeti. And I know a lot of other marketers use the Blue Yeti also. Personally though, I use a different product. It is a wireless headset and it's not very cheap. Um, it is a German company, Sennheiser. It is the Wave Runner. You can get these off of Amazon, but they will run you um, a little shy of, of $400 or so. The Blue Yetis are more affordable and they do produce a high quality audio. The big difference though with the Blue Yeti and the Sennheiser headset that I use, for example, is simply the fact that the Blue Yeti is not a headset. It is a microphone on a stand. So there's kind of a little bit of a personal preference there with whether you might want to have a microphone on a stand or whether you might want to have a headset. I like the headset option because it's great to use for things like um, Skype chats and things like that because you also get a speaker in your ear as well. So you can even uh, travel away from your computer. Like I can go outside in the middle of a Skype call and still talk to people using this particular headset. So it's something that's kind of dual purposed for me why I went for the headset option instead of something like the Blue Yeti. But again, you can make your own choice depending on what your personal preference may be and or what your budget may be. Now module five, this is the swipe and deploy presentations. This is actually pretty cool and will be really good for people that don't have money to invest in software, for example. There is a engaging presentation and a quote-unquote ugly presentation. Although they say quote-unquote ugly because ugly and pretty does not guarantee you sales when it comes to marketing with a video. Ugly videos can refer tons of sales, and sometimes they can even do it better than a flashy video can. So don't be put off from this whole thing if you can't create a flashy video. Just creating any video will give you the upper hand over the people that are not creating videos. So these two examples that they have here, you can actually download a PowerPoint template and the script template from not just one, but both of these videos. This is where I mentioned, be sure to scroll down the page because sometimes you have multiple sections of resources for one single module. So you can download these templates and edit them to apply to whatever it is that you're promoting and use them as they are. So you don't have to put in a ton of work creating the actual template itself, the design of it all. You can use a pre-built pre design here. Now, this will not 
be a module that is for everybody. This would be mainly if you are going to want to use a PowerPoint slideshow presentation that you create ahead of time and then you're recording your audio along with your presentation. However, if you're doing one of the other options, like recording your own screen, recording yourself on video, or maybe even using one of a variety of video creator software titles like Explainio, one that I personally use and recommend. Those other options, you may be able to simply bypass module five entirely, or maybe come here and just check out the videos as examples and maybe even download the script templates because you could modify the scripts to go with a completely different video that you create yourself. So this may be one module that you may be able to at least partially skip over depending on what your plans are going to be here. Now with module number six, this is actually a multi-part module. There are five different sections here. And this is a really cool module because it's going to teach you how to create professional videos, but how to do so on a budget. And specifically, this is talking about using a smartphone. So they're going to teach you how to use an iPhone or this can also be done with uh, Android smartphones if you are not an iPhone user. So even though you might not have a multi hundred dollar budget to go out and invest in a uh, new video camera and all this other software and stuff, module number six can be a major help for you. Teaching you all the way from the basics to couple of specific types of videos to different resources that you can use. These are going to be like different apps and things like that that you can use on your phone. And even a bonus video training that's going to teach you how to make special effects in your videos. And all this is centered around being on a budget. So this could be really important for a lot of the Amazon affiliates that are not looking to make a major investment into something like their video creation like a uh, product developer might be willing to do because they would expect possibly a larger return on their investment than an Amazon affiliate would. So now these main modules up here, one through six, I kind of consider these to be the backbone of the whole training system. If you can go through these six modules, you may be able to then begin creating your video. The remaining three modules that are down here are modules that you can either check out after your video creation or possibly before your video creation, depending on what kind of video you want to make. Modules number seven and eight are both going to be for people that want to record themselves on a video, where the camera is pointed at you and you're talking to the camera about a product or whatever the case may be, teaching some kind of information, these can be used for really a wide variety of different purposes. And this is something that a large majority of people are not doing because they are simply uncomfortable with it. However, these types of videos will get better results than basically any of the other types of videos that you can create. This helps people to create a personal association with you because they actually get to see you in the videos. And so they're much, much more likely to build a unseen bond with you and follow you, follow your videos and eagerly buy up the products that you recommend. So 
even if you're not comfortable with it. Check out module number seven. This one's really kind of more of a motivational module from somebody that actually teaches people how to present on video. And that's what this whole training lesson is about. It's about putting yourself into the right state of mind so you can perform on camera like all these other professionals, even though you may not be a video professional. Even if you think, I would never do that, take 17 minutes and watch this one video, and you might reconsider. This guy has some really good stuff to talk to you about, and I would highly encourage anyone to listen. Even if you never made a video where you were actually on the camera. If you're just recording audio on the video, this type of information can still be really beneficial to you because it's going to help put you in the right mindset. It's going to teach you how to put yourself in the right mindset before you actually create your video and while you're making the video so you can end up with the best possible video that you are capable of creating. Now module number eight, this one is really, really cool. I'm going to mute my sound here for just a second. I just want to show you a quick little blip of this. This is on creating green screen videos. And what's so cool about this is that you get to learn the whole process. And this is something that you can do from your own home, and you don't have to spend a fortune doing it. However, you should be expecting to invest at least a couple hundred dollars in materials and software that you would need to be able to pull off something like this. But you can do it in your own home, and that's exactly what this guy here has done and he walks you through every step of it so you can do the same. So you can see how he takes his green screen and he can blank it out in his software so it looks like he's just standing there in front of a blank screen and then he can drop his own pictures and videos onto the background so he actually looks like he is in these different places. So imagine this kind of power combined with being an Amazon affiliate, promoting different types of products. When you could put yourself into a video, into a situation that is relevant to your product without ever having to leave the comfort of your own home, you're in a situation like this, but you actually look like you're in the middle of a NASCAR race or something, and you're talking about promoting some kind of car-related product, perhaps. These kind of things will set you apart from the competition head over heels. So if you can get past the whole talking on video thing, this is the next step for it and where you should be looking to progress into. Whether you're doing Amazon affiliate marketing or really any other kind of internet marketing, this training right here, and honestly all of the training that's in this whole series here, can be extremely valuable for you, things that you will be using for years into the future. Now the final module here, Google Hangout Traffic, this is something that's really important for everybody to be touching on once they have created their videos. Now if you don't have money to invest in software, the Google Hangout approach can be one way of doing that without any investment because you can simply record your own screen. The only thing you need is a way to record your audio using this particular method. Everything else can pretty much be done for free and you can hook up these Google Hangout videos to your YouTube channel and it's not a simple YouTube video though. By connecting it with the Google Hangouts and doing it using that method, 
you're linking into the power of Google search. Google search is much, much more likely to put a YouTube video that originated on a Google Hangout into the top of the search results. And it'll do it really, really fast in a lot of circumstances. If you can find a keyword phrase that does not have a video in the top 10 and you publish a Google Hangout video using that keyword phrase, you have a really good chance of ending up with your video in the top 10 of Google, potentially within an hour or so of you publishing it. And it's all done using this method. So this 18 minute video at the top here is going to teach you about the method itself, how to actually do it and use Google Hangouts to create your Hangout and run it, record your video. Now, the rest of this training, which is something that might easily be looked over in some cases, look for this little link right here. Here is a special bonus offer. Visit this page and you actually get access to an entire video training program that is all about affiliate marketing with Google Hangouts. So this specific information can be really, really geared towards more what you're trying to do, more so than the actual Elite Video Evolution course is. Now beyond the course itself, you have an upsell called Traffic Flare. While this is completely optional, I would recommend picking this up if you have not done so already. Traffic Flare is a three-part video module. And each of these addresses a different aspect of traffic. The first module here may not be something very useful for you, at least not in this current moment in time. This is more about finding affiliates to promote your product. So this would be when you create something of your own. However, you can create your own digital products that are not meant for other marketers, that are meant for just ordinary people. And you could be selling these on JVZoo or on ClickBank. And this can teach you how to find affiliates that would promote that product for you and they get a chunk of the sale and you get the other part of the sale. And the whole Elite Video Evolution course can again be combined in with that. You, t you create the videos with this training program. You can create a sales page with this training program and the actual content. And then you could find your own affiliates using this training. However, if you never had any intentions of doing that type of stuff, these other two training modules are going to be more what you would want to be focusing on. One is on Facebook traffic. This is actually quite a large training course. This one is an hour and 33 minutes long. And this is going to teach you all about Facebook marketing and it even dives into a lot of things like advertising and making a profit. So this can teach you things that is important for people who are wanting to use Facebook for free and for people that are wanting to use it um, on the advertising end. So no matter what your intentions may be with Facebook, you should be able to get some kind of training out of that particular module that would be really helpful for you. Now the YouTube Traffic Mastery. This one is the one that I would consider the most important for all of the Amazon affiliates. Because this will teach you how to take the videos that you're creating, publish them on YouTube, to get better search rankings, to get at the top of YouTube search results and Google search results. 
this is going to allow you to make much more effective use out of the videos that you create. So again, while this whole traffic flare upgrade is completely optional, it can help you to simply get better use out of the work that you're going to do in this main course.